welcome to the video where we're talking about the most divisive game of the year, other than Honey Pop 2. Today we're talking Outriders, the newest looter shooter game this side of the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. With an internet split between enthusiastic supporters and frustrated detractors, can Outriders resolve its technical issues to be one of the best games of the year? Or is it doomed to the open world island of disappointed games next to Marvel's Avengers and Anthem? I'll let you know whenever the servers stop crashing. Outriders is the latest from People Can Fly, the studio behind Bulletstorm and Gears of War Judgment. It's their first original title release since leaving Epic Games to its blood-soaked feud with Apple. And in a landscape desperate for new releases, all eyes are on Outriders. Hey, does anybody want to play Monster Hunter Rise co-op? I said all eyes are on Outriders. The story behind Outriders is one we've seen before. Earth has been destroyed, humanity is on the search for a new planet to slowly chew up and spit out. We never learn. A team of Outriders, which is a fancy name for military scouts as near as I can tell, lands on the beautifully desolate planet Enoch, only to be immediately struck by a lightning storm version of me when I've been stuck in an Ikea for too long. The main character gets superpowers and humanity rekindles our favorite pastime, Civil War. Your character is shoved into cryosleep, waking up 31 years later to this hellscape. Wait a minute, are we supposed to believe that we went from this to this in only 31 years? And all the while shooting each other with legendary weapons and getting struck by magic rage lightning? The only thing of note I've managed to accomplish in 31 years is lose all of my hair and mostly avoid anime. These people built a giant cityscape and turned it into a hellhole in the time it takes to pay off a mortgage. I'm honestly impressed. And what is going on with the camera operator in the cutscenes? If your drama means supply holds up, Outriders tries hard to pack in more story than other titles in the genre, which is great news for the three of you out there who care. There's a lot to like in Outriders. Co-op combat is fun, the loot is plentiful, and the class-based healing abilities are smart. Changing the way you regenerate health depending on your class selection seamlessly incentivizes you to play to your character's strengths. It's elegant gameplay design, and there are ample opportunities to build your character's abilities to your exact specifications with weapon mods and skill trees. There are opportunities to customize almost everything except for your actual character's appearance. The character customization in this game is garbage. Look, we're not expecting cyberpunk penis options here, but can you do more than six pre-made faces, three piercings, and an eyebrow scar? The hair is bad. Geralt had better hair in Witcher 3, and that game could be a first grader by now. Another bit left to be desired is the accessibility in Outriders. The game gives you the controls, a heads up on how each class does maximum damage, but there's no real strategy guides or tutorials to help it sink in. Games like Control do this beautifully with their training dimensions to help the player workshop a new power. Outriders, on the other hand, gives you money for a carnival game and a pat on the head while it lets you figure out the rest on your own. With that out of the way, let's get to the cool part, character classes. There are four classes of superhero powers to choose from. There's the long-range Technomancer, able to manipulate technology and snipe from a distance. The Pyromancer, a mid-range class for all you firebugs out there. The Devastator, the close-range tankiest of all tanks. And lastly, the Trickster, the rogue that's able to teleport to carve through enemies at close range and slow down time. When all of these classes work together, Outriders is a blast to play through. This is a game that's meant to be played in co-op. With the power of friendship and teamwork, nothing is impossible. While you can play through the entire game solo, it's a really unbalanced experience. It's easy to be overwhelmed with enemies without another player to assist mid-range or close range. So if you don't have friends or are hell-bent on playing through as a lone wolf, get ready for a lot of this. Okay. Hold on. Why do games obscure your vision like this? Listen, game does. This isn't a Zack Snyder film, so maybe cool it on the desaturation, okay? This is the point where we most need to see what's going on. I don't need the red ring of death covering the three enemies killing me right now. I mean, in a game that rewards more aggressive gameplay, this feels like a punishment. The 
key to fun and successful combat is a good mix of classes. Co-op mode maxes out at three players. So if you can get a team of close range beasts and a mid or long range sniper, you're in business. We're all just looking for the pyromancer to our trickster in life, you know? Okay guys, let's go over this one more time. Trickster, I need you to run in there and slow down time. Technomancer, I need you to stay behind and snipe everyone. Meanwhile, I'll- Which one am I again? You're the Technomancer. Cool, cool. Okay, okay, let's just go, guys. We need to have a plan. Whatever, my guy, let's go. Okay, one, three, two. Hey, where are you guys? What are you doing, bro? It's cool, it's cool, I just revived myself. Okay, Techno, just, just stay back and snipe. Oh, just kidding, I'm down again. Can I get a revive? Nah, man, you have to live with your mistakes. Techno, I'm going in, cover me. Techno? Wait, 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 how do you use your special skills? I, I, I'm trying to hit all four triggers at the same time and nothing's happening. You're doing what? Oh wait, I got it. Oh, wait, I'm dead. God, I need a better squad. Should have put me on the team, coach. Yeah, so like I said, the right mix of players and classes is key to succeeding in Outriders. But it doesn't fully get you there. This is, after all, a looter shooter, so let's get to the important stuff. The looting and the shooting. Gear mods are a plenty in this game, and they can make or break you no matter how good your team is. Outriders does a great job of making it easy to grab new items, compare stats, and dismantle them to create the weapon of your dream. Playing in higher difficulties in the game gets you better loot, and even better argument for playing co-op mode. There's no fun in being stuck in a lower level world tier, getting slaughtered repeatedly by the same boss in exchange for basic loot. Oh cool, another shoe. I think I can say with confidence that Outriders is not the next Anthem, but rather what people hoped Anthem would be. There's no denying that Outriders hasn't had the smoothest launch. Servers have continually crashed, crossplay has been buggy, the always online aspect of the game can be a huge disadvantage. The first few days of launch, I was booting up the game, starting the matchmaking process, yeah, I'll, I'll go make some coffee, check back. Might as well make breakfast, check back, eating breakfast, check back, you get it. But once these issues are resolved, the fun gameplay, bounties of loot, and the cool Mad Max meets Lawrence of Arabia design puts Outriders as a solid new addition to the shooter genre, especially because nothing else out there is scratching this itch right now. My friend code for Monster Hunter is 54368177. Nope, there's nothing else. I'm interested to see how Outriders evolves. Will there be opportunities for raids? Will the world feel rich enough to warrant extended play? How robust will future story content be? And can we expect combat innovations along the way? Can we expect fun plot twists? In the meantime, catch me over in co-op mode with a bad haircut. All right, guys, here we go. Pyro, take the altars to the right. I'll run up to the front lines and techno you. Whoa, whoa. Who put you in charge? Uh, wh what did y'all want me to do? I'm not trying to take charge. I'm just trying to lay down some strategy. Oh, okay. So we got a strategy guy over here. Yo, guys, what am I supposed to do again? Whatever, man. Let's just go. Techno, bro, what are you doing? I'm following Adam because he's the leader. Don't follow me. I'm a close range guy. Stay back. I'm down. Adam, get in there. Why are you running away? There's too many of them. So, you wanna play again? Nah, man. We're going with our other trickster. Yeah, fair enough. Oh yes, let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Wait, wait, we don't have a plan. <laughs> 